Ian Hurst spent 12 years as a military intelligence officer gathering information for the government. But now Scotland Yard is launching an investigation into information allegedly gathered illegally from him when his computer was hacked by a private investigator who it's alleged was working for the news of the world. The private investigator has admitted that he placed a computer trojan on my, on my hard drive and obtained over a three month period uh, all email traffic coming in and out, um, he could access social media um, and ostensibly surveilled me for a given period. Ian believes the hackers were looking for information on an IRA informer, codenamed Steakknife. Mr Hurst has reams of documents relating to his case, which goes back to 2006, but he believes the police were reluctant to investigate properly at the time. In 2006, if the police had have acted on the information that they were in possession of, this would have stopped a lot of victims. Uh, they wouldn't have happened post-2006, 2007. So it's incredibly important that we understand the rationale for, not, for the decisions taken to effectively sweep this under the carpet. Ian Hurst claims it's more than just bad policing that allowed the illegal information gathering to go on for so long. Fundamentally, what lays behind this whole cesspit, um, not since 2006, it predates it by many years before that. We're dealing with institutionalised corruption. It's endemic within the Metropolitan Police, and that has to be dealt with. Mr Hurst says his investigations point not only to the news of the world, but other newspapers too, and beyond the media. Some of the clients uh, that um, the private detectives were working for are large financial institutions, um, celebrities, major PR organisations. It's diverse. The, the client is the source. They're the people willing to pay large sums of money to obtain this unlawful information and it, 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 if you don't address the source um, you can put it, you can put 10 50 private detectives away but you won't remove the demand for the information so as of this weekend scotland yard has three separate investigations running spawned by the hacking saga one into phone interceptions one into computer crime and the third into police corruption David Bowden, Sky News.